I'm CJ Rosenbaum, and this is your inside information. Today, we're going to be talking about after you get the brand to retract the complaint, how do you get it off your account? Dan Metters and Dylan Frost are two amazing Amazon sellers who created the wholesale formula to teach you how to be successful by mimicking their successful formula. The wholesale formula teaches you how to have success on Amazon with the three S's. Scout, how to identify opportunities in the marketplace. Source, how to get those products directly from the brands so that you avoid the intellectual property right complaints we're gonna be talking about in a minute. And number three, sell, how to create killer listings on Amazon so that consumers buy your products check out the wholesale formula an incredible course to start selling on amazon or to improve your sales on amazon all right here we go the main topic of today you've obtained a retraction of the baseless ip complaint or the real complaint i don't care but you got that brand to withdraw the complaint how do you now get it off your account here are the top three things you need to do one the retraction must must, must 1000% come from the same exact email from where the complaint came from on Amazon. If the complaint was made by a lower level person in brand protection, and now you've got their boss agreeing to withdraw the complaint, the withdrawal has to come from that lower person's email address. Number two, the retraction must state that the complaint was made in error. You need whoever asserted that complaint to fall on the sword and explain to Amazon that they should never have asserted that complaint. The best reason if you can get the brand to do it is that your products are 100% genuine and that's the mistake that they made. Tip number three to get those IP complaints off your account, you as a seller need power. You need to obtain control back from that brand. The way you do that is to get the brand to CC you on the retraction. Get a copy of it in your email. Because if Amazon fails to log it in, if that complaint lingers on your account, if your listing or your account stays down, you need that email directly from whoever made that complaint to use that in writing a plan of action and submitting that email to notice dispute at amazon.com. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., join me Join Arthur in his incredible video editing, how to review invoices like an Amazonian, where you will get the information that I have personally obtained by cross-examining Amazon's executives and by interviewing dozens of Amazon staff in India. Learn what you need to know about reviewing your invoices like an Amazonian before you send them in with your plan of action. Of course, we are here for sellers seven days a week beginning of business on Monday at 9 a.m., close of business in California on Friday at their 5 p.m. We are here Saturdays, we are here Sundays, 1,000% devoted to Amazon sellers.